Hello everyone, uh, this is our term project demonstration for electromagnetic course in Bilkent University. I'm Yitbel Küçüncü. I'm Tunal Kerşifoğlu. And my name is Bergeş Aryos. Uh, we were expected to tender uh, basic concepts of uh, electromagnetics in order to do so. Uh, we implemented the basic electromagnetic suspension system. So let's look at our model. So here is our prototype. Let me introduce the components. As a controller, we choose to use Arduino Uno, as you can see at the center. And just below it, we have 3S 11.1V LiPo battery that supplies all the energy to the whole system with a few voltage divider circuits. On top of the Arduino, we place motor shield to drive the uh, four different wheels individually. For the suspension part, we have two shrinks and inside them we have two repelling neomedium magnets. The subsystem utilized as passive suspension. For the active suspension part, we want two coils around our shrinks and we are passing current through these coils. We control the magnitude and the direction of the current via HC05 Bluetooth module. Due to the fact that we need to pass high currents through coils, we use two different motor drivers here. Let me explain how all components work together and how we implemented the suspension system. Arduino is used as the central control unit. As the instructions are taken from the mobile app, the Bluetooth module receives and translates these instructions via serial communication to the Arduino. Depending on the instructions, after switching between drive mode and suspension mode, it executes the necessary commands to drive the motor shield to move the car or to drive motor drivers to adjust suspensions. The analytical part of the project can be explained as follows. We are utilizing the application of Ampere's law, which suggests the magnetic field inside the solenoid is proportional to the current passing through it. We interfere with the existing magnetic field due to repelling magnets. By changing the direction and the magnitude of the current, we can adjust the height of the suspension. Hello again. Now I mentioned how we control this our prototype. So as you see, there is an application open in the R telephone, Android telephone. So thanks to our Bluetooth module, we via this application we can control our prototype. As you can see, our model acts according to the indicators on application. When we press the upper button, model goes forward, and for the lower button, model goes backward. And for right and left hand side buttons, our model rotates according to that. By default, arrow key is controlled the moment of the model. With the hazard button, system goes into suspension mode. In this mode, we can control the height of the suspensions with arrow keys. With headlight switch, suspension returns to default height. And we can control each suspension individually by holding on the direction key and setting the height with left keys. Furthermore, we can increase and decrease the suspension step by step thanks to the motor drivers. We can also drive it to adjust the suspension height. Finally, the system returns to adjusted height even with external fluid. 